Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter, the master of puppets, reviewing a nostalgic beer for me. Representing ABQ, New Mexico, <laughs> Lobos. So uh, this beer guys is from La Cumbre, this is a very nostalgic beer for me because this was a beer, my go-to beer, uh, when I was on exchange in Albuquerque, New Mexico back in 2012. Uh, before we actually get into the review, I need to give a big thanks as well to Nathaniel over in Albuquerque, a friend of Dalton, which you saw in the reviews, which you followed me for a while, who also follows the channel. I didn't know him back then, but he's been kind enough to send some packages with La Cumbre over the years. So thanks a ton, dude. It's always great to get some La Cumbre, because they're a pretty damn great brewery. Um, so if you haven't heard of La Cumbre before, it's a New Mexican, or it's uh, an Albuquerque-based brewery, one of the best breweries in the state. It makes amazing beers, and this was the beer that kind of spread them out. I mean, where people found out who they were. This is none other than La Cumbre's Elevated IPA. So, I already reviewed this. I reviewed it from Crowler, straight from the brewery, uh, back in 2012. I think maybe with Dalton or with the, the Panther, if you guys remember uh, Steven. But um, we also had Acclimated. But this. I loved it. I, it just blew my mind. They had it on tap everywhere and whatnot. It was just great. Same with like the Marble IPA, but I think this was just a step up. Um, but back then they didn't do anything but crawlers or anything. And sorry if this video is going to be a little bit long with some ranting and memories and shit, but I really want to talk about it. But I just love going there to the brewery. We went there, the tap room, you, the, the owners were beer geeks, so they were hanging different bottles of beers in the ceiling and shit. And then they you could go get crawlers and pours of beers and shirts and all kinds of stuff and I should have gotten a shirt but I didn't but this was one of the one that I drank the most from them they had a lot of great beers but Elevated was just great then when I left they ended up raising even better IPAs like their experimental IPA called uh it's a hop project no experimental IPA experimental hop experiment I can't remember the name now I I actually reviewed it and I just completely forgot it full Nelson as well Father Nelson lots of great IPAs but this is 7.2 percent it's a regular IPA 100 IBUs, it's kind of more a new uh, West Coast style, and you know, New England is awesome and all, but I still enjoy West Coast IPAs. If you followed me for a while, you'd know that's where my love for IPAs originally lie. So, I, West Coast IPAs are still great. The New England beers are great too, but you know, Verity is a spice of life, a, a spice of life, as I said a few times. But I actually didn't know info about this beer when I had it back in the day, but they actually have infos on it on their website. So the grains in there are Canadian Superior Pale Ale Malt, Durst Munich 1, like even the producers, <laughs> Baird's Karastan, and Raw White Wheat Malt. So uh, one caramel, and then the hops, listen to this, Halatau Hercules CO2 Extract, CTC, so uh, uh, what is it, Tomahawk Zeus, I can't remember the Columbus, uh, Centennial, Chinook, Simcoe, Mosaic, Citra, and Nelson, and the used Chico at least. Awesome, they've got all the info there. And it's, a, as far as I remember, a big bowl West Coast IPA, and they say themselves that this is something you should drink now. It's known for their obscene amount of hops, and yeah, experience it fresh. This is two months old now, but that's of course because Nathaniel shipped it from the States, and um, you know, sometimes stuff gets tough, stuff can transit and shit. But, However, I think it will still be fairly decent because, or good, because it's, you know, it's in a, in a can and it always helps a lot. But we got the, without all that ranging out of the way, we got Elevated IPA poured. And it pours a great looking, slightly hazy, orange color, golden orange, nice white head to it. Let's check out the aroma and get Elevated once again for the first time in four years. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh yeah, big West Coast IPA, super grapefruity and orangey, but a lot less dank. And I think I remember that too from back in the day. It wasn't super dank; it was more fruity. But it's still, you still get those kind of kind of really bitter and piney kind of notes in there. Very orangey and mandarin orange and floral. And like the Nelson is kind of slightly there with the twang, just lightly that kind of slight gooseberry esque note. Just slightly there. But really, you know, a melange of just West Coast classic hop aromas. It's got a little bit of that uh, syrupy, almost not, but sweet, hoppy, like with, and I know it's not caramel malts in there, but it's Cara something. That's combined, I mean, it could, could be the Munich as well, like a sweeter maltiness, just lightly, 
with a sweeter hop profile, making like an almost like hop syrupy kind of thing. I think you get in a lot of West Coast IPAs nowadays, actually. A little bit of dangerous, but it smells great. It smells pretty much how I remember it, but of course not as fresh. Gave it a 95 back in the day, so let's see what I think of it now. Cheers, and thanks a ton to Nathaniel for, you know, giving me a bit of nostalgia here. So, let's give it a taste. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly what I remember. That just brings back so many fond memories. That's awesome. Seriously, it really does. I had this beer with so many great friends. I seriously need to go back to Albuquerque. I've been saying that for the past four years. I really do need to make a trip. Mmm. Classic West Coast IPA and so fucking dead on. Like, if you want the epitome of a great West Coast IPA, Elevated is it. Big grapefruit, big pine, slightly resiny. Not super dank, but a little bit. Uh, the hops are kind of like intertwined very well. It's not like one hop is sticking out as is kind of like the tendency nowadays with more like one or two different hop varieties. You're getting a bit of the Milsen character with a slight hint of gooseberry, but lots of that in, in the scar sweet citrus as well and orange. It's definitely also like some slight tropical notes like sweet mango and a little bit of kind of like overripe papaya or something. It's like sweet tropical fruit more so than tart with lots of citrus fruits and the floral notes. It's actually quite a complex IPA. And then underlying it all, you get a really nice malt backbone, like kind of the sweet, malty, uh, bready, biscuity kind of thing. This is, yeah, damn awesome West Coast IPA. It is, I mean, it's two months old now, almost two months old. And I no no older than this. Like this right now is like it's not tasting old per se, but you can taste it's not popping as crazy as it did in Albuquerque when I had it, you know, fresh from the brewery, of course. But I can do this job of holding this beer up well. But yeah, it's great to try Elevate it again and yeah, do this little re review. It's kind of like a candied. I find that in at least a lot in West Coast style IPAs, like candied orange peel or candied citrus peel in general because of the sweet maltiness. So I'm getting that in there. Like, kind of, but really cool. Also, that is in a can, you know. They didn't even do any kind of bottling back then when I was there. But, great stuff. Is it a 95 still? I'm going to dump it down to a 94. Just one grade, because I know fresher this will still be a 95. Because it's still a freaking great, very well done IPA. Yeah, it's not the trendy style that's in right now. Which I do love myself. But something like this is also damn great with that slight haze. Awesome dank punch in the face. Hot flavors. Really bitter, too yet kind of soft, uh, you know, very old school, or old school, not even old school, really old school would be like the big sweet multi East Coast IPAs maybe, but ranting and all that over, this was nostalgic, this was fun, 94, thanks so much Nathaniel for uh, helping me try Elevate it again. But yeah guys, definitely let me know what you think of La Cumbre's Elevated IPA if you've had a chance to try it. I just got elevated, you should too. So great stuff guys. Thanks again Nathaniel. And as always remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.